Hi guys, in this video you're going to see how to update virtual EMV from Python 3.5 to Python 3.6 and there's no direct way to do this so we are going to extract all requirements from first environment then we are going to create a new one with Python 3.6 and finally we are going to install all requirements in the new one and let's do a quick demonstration of this so First, let's go to the folder with all requirements, all environments, sorry. So this should be the folder with environments. And as you can see here, we have TensorFlow 3.5 and we want to migrate this one to 3.6. So let's enter inside and activate it. Once it's activated, we can extract all requirements with a command pip freeze and the name of the file which is uh, rex.txt once the extraction is finished we can deactivate and return in previous folder and now we are going to create the new environment with command virtual env the name of the environment tensorflow 3.6 and the version of python which we are going to use 3.6 and once we have this we need to copy all requirements from 3.5 to 3.6 this can be done with this command here cp uh, tilde or tilde for a home and the file that we want to copy and this is for a current folder which is this one but we want to change this folder so we are going to use tensorflow 3.6 and then we are going to perform the copy command so let's let me copy again and add it so we should have this file here and now we can import all requirements in the new environment 3.6 uh, sorry I need to activate it so we can activate it with this command here and then we can install all requirements and as you can see right now we have an error which means that uh, some of the requirements are not compatible with Python 3.6 in this case we can run a command like this one which is going to read all requirements one by one and is going to process them one by one and if any of them is failing then we are going to skip it and after that you need to find uh, what is causing the problem and you need to do a manual fix for all requirements which are not satisfied and you can check uh, if this is working or not so I will add all the information for uh, this command and uh, previous and other in the description below if you want to reuse the same name of the environment you can uh, rename the old one and then create a new one with the same name and finally from Python 3.6 is recommended to be used uh, a new command which is uh, venv and I will add this link below so you can see uh, how you can use it I will do a new video about this and it's almost the same uh, like uh, using uh, pip packages and managing the environment itself if you like this video you can uh, put a like and if you like the channel or videos you can uh, subscribe for the channel so thank you for watching and see you next time